High school prom obsession hits new heights in this 2020 Lifetime movie. Also known as I Will Take Your Life, this is Killer Prom. I'm Jay Harang and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. Meet the Wilson family. The mum, Hannah, the dad, Tony, and their daughter, Maya, who's constantly glued to her phone. They're at Hannah's family reunion, but Maya's more interested in looking at prom dresses on her phone, even though the prom is months away. You know, planning started the first day of school. Oh, yeah, there's a younger brother called Luke. The first and only member... <laughs> The first and only member of the family they speak to at this reunion is Hannah's cousin, Sienna. Hannah, <laughs> Hannah is a successful businesswoman, but Sienna's a bit of a loser. Sienna's like, Hannah, let's go out on the boat together. I need some girl time. And Hannah's like, yeah, okay. When they get out to the middle of the lake, Sienna turns the engine off. What's going on? Well, I think the engine overheated. It's not true. I want your house. I want your kids. I want your man. I want your life. <laughs> and oh no, Hannah can't swim, so she's dead. Seven months later, we see Sienna in her apartment in LA. She's clearly not doing well, so she calls Tony. Hi, Tony, it's Sienna. How are you doing? He's like, yeah, well, the accident was ages ago now, so I'm fine. How are you? She's like, I'm moving back to Philadelphia, but I've got nowhere to live and I need to get my real estate license. And he's like, oh, come and stay with us for a few weeks. So now that's decided, Sienna Googles Tony's new house. Well, Hannah, you had the perfect life. Now it's my turn. Yeah, people in this film talk to themselves all the time, but more on that later. Cut to Maya at school and she's just heard that Jake is about to ask someone to the prom. Wow, that's big. It's about time he asked me to prom. And here he comes. He's even got his friends to hold little signs up. Hang on, he's walked straight past her. Will you go to prom with me, Kat? Of course I will. So Maya cries, and at home, she doesn't want to talk to her dad about it. But Sienna's about to arrive. Maybe she can speak to her. Mommy's on her way. The lady of the house has arrived, everyone. Yep, Sienna is always talking to herself. But when she arrives, she wants to talk to Maya. I hear you've been having prom problems. Would you like to talk about them? Well, I'm a really good listener. Well, I thought this guy Jake was going to ask me for Do you sure. Hear my prom story. Come again? Not interested in Maya's story then? Not at all. Okay. The conversation switches to Maya's mum Hannah's prom. She was prom queen and the prom was the night that Tony fell in love with her. And Sienna's been jealous of Hannah ever since. When, to when Tony shows Sienna to her room, he tells her about their housekeeper, Janet. She's been kind of a second mom for Maya and Luke. Oh dear, that's not gone down well. So Sienna cheers herself up by looking at old photos of her and Hannah. Who's smiling now, Hannah? When everyone else is asleep, Sienna looks around the house and talks to herself. Cardiologist of the year? You really are the whole package, Dr. Wonderful. Okay, real estate. Let's see. 75 hours of education and a criminal history report? Yeah, right. Pennsylvania real estate licensing exam? Print? Doesn't mean I can't play the role of real estate agent. I mean, I get that some people talk to themselves, but talking out loud about a devious plan when there are clearly people in the room next door is ridiculous. Anyway, the next morning, Sienna meets the housekeeper. I'm Janet. I've been with the Wilsons for years. All right, Janet. There's already tension here as Sienna starts taking over Janet's chores. She notices Janet keeps her drink in the fridge. I wonder what she's going to do with that. Janet leaves the room. Maybe Sienna can find something useful in her bag and tell us about it. Two years sober. Not for long. Thanks. Then Sienna goes into Tony's room, rubs her face on his clothes, and finds a box full of Hannah's prom memories. Can't believe she has this old relic. What are you doing in Dr. Wilson's closet? Uh, she's like, oh, I was just looking for an old photo of me and Hannah. But Janet's like, whatever. Later, while Sienna's Googling substances that make people look drunk, Tony calls her to ask if she can pick Maya up, and she agrees. You're amazing. Thank you. Yes, Tony, I am amazing. Then she finds some antifreeze in the garage. This is gonna be easier than I thought. You so deserve this. Anyway, at school, Maya tells Jake she's angry because he asked Kat to the prom instead of her. But it sounds like Kat sent Jake a text from Maya's phone telling him Maya didn't want to go with him anyway. Bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when Sienna comes to pick Maya up from school, Maya sees Kat. What's wrong? That's the mean girl I told you about. Maya is supposed to be a senior in high school. Why is she behaving like she's eight years old? No idea, but that's how she's acting. Hey, little girl, what do you want? 
I'm going to drag you into a basement, tie you up, and no one will hear you scream. Okay, that was a bit much. Anyway, Sienna tells Maya that a friend of hers can help her get proof that it was Kat who sent Jake the text. His name's Tyler, and he's a computer genius. When they get to his house, it's clear Tyler would do anything to shag Sienna. So he gets Maya the proof she needs. So Maya's really happy. When they get home, Sienna's like, okay, Janet, you can go home now. Luke won't be doing any more homework. So now Luke and Maya love Sienna. That night when the kids are in bed, Sienna grabs grabs Hannah's prom box from Tony's room. She starts wearing all the stuff in it, then starts imagining that she's at the prom with Tony. We can rewrite history. Yeah, this is shit. So now it's time to put the antifreeze in Janet's drink. At school, Jake has come to his senses and asked Maya to the prom. And she's so happy she makes this face. Back at home, Janet's drinking her antifreeze. Good girl. Janet goes to pick Luke up, driving like she's off her tits. So Sienna follows her and calls the police. I'd like to report a drunk driver. So Janet is arrested and sacked. Sienna then takes Maya shopping for a prom dress. Oh, that's a nice one. Try it on, Maya. Then Sienna imagines herself wearing the same dress at the prom with Tony. Maya catches her fantasizing and thinks she might be a bit weird. Correcto mundo. The next day, Tony tells Sienna that he'll be going away on business with his office manager, Lauren. She's hot. Luke. <sighs> so she's going to have to die. In order to meet Lauren, Sienna's going to have to pretend to be sick. So goes to buy some allergy meds from the pharmacy while talking to herself. Rapid heartbeat, chest pains. One pill every 12 hours. Let's see what three will do. She takes those and calls Tony. My heart, something's wrong. It, it, it doesn't feel right. Tony's like, come to the office and I'll check you out. When she arrives at the hospital, she meets Lauren and hates her. On the way out, Tony formally introduces them. Just call me his work wife. Hannah was his wife. She was my cousin. Uh, Tony's like, we're having a barbecue at the house on Saturday. And Sienna's like, oh, well, I'll cook. Lauren is coming too. And this hasn't gone down well with Sienna. The handsome doctor is mine. Then Sienna goes back to the dress shop and picks up that dress for Maya and gets the same dress for herself. So now we're at the barbecue. And oh, here comes Lauren. <laughs> Tony's harder than a broom handle and Sienna is livid. So she runs to the bathroom and talks to herself. Who wears a tight red dress to a barbecue? But oh no, Lauren needs a shit. And she hears Sienna talking to herself from outside the door. I'm gonna be Tony's wife, not you, Lauren. Sienna knows that Lauren's heard everything and that she plans to tell Tony about this tomorrow. So she follows her to the gym. Hello, Lauren. This is a Lifetime movie and Lauren is on a flight of stairs. So we know what that means, don't we? Yes, of course. <laughs> yep, she's dead. The next morning, Tony gets a call telling him that Lauren's dead. Cut to the funeral, which for some reason is taking place at Tony's house. Maya sees Sienna hugging Tony like this and starts to suspect Sienna has been up to no good. So she decides to, so she decides to have a look through Sienna's stuff and talk to herself. Prom magazines? What's that about? Her real estate forms. She never filled them out. Then she finds a prom dress, just like hers, but in Sienna's size. Why does she have this? So she decides to tell her dad what she's found. She's like, Dad, Sienna wants to shag you. She hasn't even applied for a real estate license, and she has a prom dress and magazines in her room. You went through her stuff? Yes. And oh no, Sienna's listening at the door. She bursts in and explains that she bought the other prom dress for Maya in case hers didn't fit, and that she filled her real estate forms in online. Something you want to say to Sienna? Sorry. So that's that dealt with. It's finally almost here. The most magical night of our lives. I wonder what she's planning. Oh, she's setting up an alternative adult prom for her and Tony at the house. But first we get a happy families montage which includes a scene showing that Sienna doesn't understand the rules of Jenga. Maya has started putting the pieces together and suspects that Sienna plans to take over her dead mum's life. So she calls Janet, who tells her she thinks Sienna put something in her drink. Then she looks up Sienna's mum on social media and sends her a message telling her to call her. It's the day of the prom and Sienna gets her nails done, talks to herself and fantasizes about having sex with Tony. But she's gonna need to drug him first. Of course. And here comes Maya. That song doesn't actually play, but it feels like it should. So off she goes with Jake, and Luke is off to a sleepover that Sienna has arranged for him. Tony is suddenly feeling very tired, so goes for a nap. Meanwhile, Sienna is getting dressed for their prom and setting up the living room. She wakes Tony up, blindfolds him, and leads him in there. When she removes the blindfold, he's like, what the fuck is this? And she's like, Tony, it's our prom night. Here's your tux. He's like, is this a joke? And she's like, no, this is the night we fall in love, just like you and Hannah did. Did you kill Hannah? So she smacks him over the head with a champagne bottle. 
Obviously, this was a ridiculous plan in the first place, but why wear the same dress as his teenage daughter? I can imagine that's somewhat of a turn-off. Yes. Anyway, in Jake's limo, Maya gets a call from Sienna's mum. Get her out of your house and be careful. So Maya and Jake decide to go home and tell Tony, who's currently being tied up next to the pool. And oh no, Sienna's heard them come back in the house. So she pushes Tony into the pool and runs inside to attack them with a knife. Jake fights with Sienna while Maya rescues Tony from the pool. But oh no, Jake's been stabbed. He probably wishes he's stuck with his original prom date now. <laughs> True. Sienna then has a breakdown and says sorry for killing everyone. But when the police get there to take her away... We'll be together soon. I don't think so. An unspecified time later, Tony has recreated the prom Maya missed at their house. So now that's two proms and a funeral they've had there. Jake's there, Janet's there, and all her friends. Yeah! Then everyone starts dancing like this. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And please consider joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description. Thank you.